I'm here with Clerk of Court Scott Ellis. Mr. Ellis, could you uh, tell us what uh, your thoughts are about uh, today's arrest of Mitch Needleman? Today really is just a big relief for everybody. Uh, FDLE has done an outstanding job in their investigation. It, it's been a very long process, and I understand why. Uh, and it really is a relief. I mean, we've lived through this now for over a year, and I think everybody's just glad to see it come to an end. Now, you ran against Mr. Needleman in the uh, 2012 election. Was this one of the issues that you brought up you know, as, as far back as then? Oh, as yes. Far, okay. Oh, yeah, absolutely. Absolutely. The, the, the scanning contract, a number of the contracts were very big issues during the campaign. A lot of money had been moved on these contracts uh, for what I personally believe was for a very little value. Mm -hmm. And you found, about, you found out about this this morning. What was your just initial reaction? That I, I'm just relieved. I can't say anything else about it. I'm really not, really not excited. It, it's just you're relieved. It's been a very long process, and you're just relieved to see it come to an end. Okay. Now, there's anything you could tell uh, Brevard residents as far as going forward. I mean, obviously, this is a whole, whole new administration here. But if there's anything you, is there anything you want to tell uh, Brevard residents after they see this news about, you know, the changes that have taken effect since since you came in here? No, I mean, the biggest thing is that, is that people that live here need to pay attention to what goes on with their locally elected officials. A and that when the people don't pay attention, it's unfortunate, but sometimes things like this happen. All right. A and the only way that you're going to keep your politicians honest is to keep their feet to the fire. Right. Well, we appreciate your time. Thanks. Oh, so much. no, no problem at all. All right, thanks.